Hello everybody. In today's video I'm going to do an unboxing of Dio, the studio albums, 1996 to 2004. This is a limited edition box set containing the albums Angry Machines, Magica, Killing the Dragon and Master of the Moon. Now this box set was released about 10 months ago or something and uh, so I'm a bit late to the party but uh, I thought it was about time to get my hands on these albums because I don't own them previously. So I'm really happy to get them in this form, in this box set. And from what I've seen on YouTube, uh, the presentation of these CDs and also the, the vinyl with the color vinyl looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to opening this. So... Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's see here, get the box open here without damaging it. There we go. Taking off the shrink wrap. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And I always keep the hype stickers, so. I'm not going to throw it away. Some people are very picky about that, so... Um, there you go, a nice little box. I like this uh, cover with Dio there and the black and the gold. Looks really, really classy. There's the spine. Here's the albums. Really great albums. I feel like the later Dio albums from the 90s and 2000s are just so underrated. They are very good albums. Uh, Angry Machines here. And uh, this one has Tracy G on, on guitar. I think the Tracy G era of the band is underrated. I love Strange Highways. Now that album is not included in this box because it was included in the previous box set, uh, a decade of Dio. So, um, but yeah, this album is good too. Not as good as Strange Highways, obviously, but uh, I think it has some good tracks. Angry Machines, and I really like uh, Tracy G's uh, guitar sound. It's like very sludgy, very heavy, very slow, very cool, great fit for for the Dio band. So yeah, and I like these these uh, digi packs or whatever you call them with these trays. It's very nice, so you don't put the discs in this here because it scratches the disc. So I like that they include a booklet and did it this way. That's very nice. So there we have Angry Machines there. So let's see, let's do this in order. They were not in the correct order in the box. So, so the next album up is Magica from the year 2000. Really like this one, Lord of the Last Days, amazing. Track, Fever Dreams, Ariel, Chalice, uh, yeah, really, really good. Now it was a while ago I listened to this, so, so I'm looking forward to playing this again. Because th this one I actually had on CD before. This was the only one I had before, so I forgot to mention that, but yeah. Um, nice to get the new remasters. So, really cool artwork. I like that they included the lyrics. That's nice. And the story of Magica with Dio narrating. That's really cool. Probably not something you will listen to all the time, but it's nice to listen to once in a while. So 
there's Magica. And then, in my opinion, the best Dio album in this set. And the best Dio album since probably Strange Highways. Uh, Killing the Dragon. So, this is really good. Love the title track. Along Comes the Spider, Scream. Uh, rock and Roll, Push. Throwaway Children, yeah, it's a really good album. I think Doug Goldrich was a great fit for, for Dio also. He was also in White Snake, which is one of my uh, favorite bands. So, yeah, there you have the Eye of the Dragon, really cool. Really cool this with that alternate artwork. I think that was on the deluxe CD or something. Um, that artwork is really cool. Killing the dragon. Yeah. So this album is just amazing. I think my favorite Dio album is probably like uh, Holy Diver. And then I would probably say Less Than Line. Uh, then Dream Evil is just incredible uh, Craig Goldie was just amazing um, yeah he's featured also on some of these albums in, in uh, I think on Magicka and Master of the Moon if I remember correctly um, so yeah really cool artwork on this one Master of the Moon yeah it was a while ago I listened to this one so uh, let's see. I also like that there's artwork and pictures. It's really good. So, yeah. Master of the Moon. And let's see this booklet here too. Um, let's see. Lyrics once again. Oh, that's really cool. Like all the Dio album covers and their artwork is just so damn cool. Always love that. So, uh, yeah. There you have it. Dio, the studio albums, 1996 to 2004. Very nice set. Uh, really happy with it. Uh, I'm guessing the sound quality is also amazing. I haven't listened to this yet, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.